welcome to another episode here we are going to edit this image here uh, which is a shot of uh, uh, Bardolino which is a city in the Garda Lake in Italy so here as a first step uh, I'm going to crop this image uh, because here the problem you can easily see all the um, houses, trees uh, and, and everything which is interesting about this image is on the lower part of it and the sky is not so interesting, there are no clouds uh, uh, it was quite early in the morning uh, but uh, still uh, you didn't have this, uh, uh, the, the classical uh, uh, sunrise colors so here we can make like a pano shot uh, like so and uh, while we are doing this uh, you see I don't really like uh, these half bolts here so we have two options the first one is just to crop it like this and the second one uh, would have been to remove, remove them uh, with uh, the healing brush but I kind of like it like so and here we can see there are no distracting elements so it works for the crop as well um, this bird I guess uh, is too small we can simply uh, remove it from the image because it's not adding any content great so the image is slightly overexposed as you can see it here so we can simply remove a bit of light maybe half a stop maybe yes this kind of works and you can also see that the colors pop up it was too bright earlier now you can see that uh, uh, the colors are more vibrant uh, and we can always add uh, as we usually do a bit of contrast uh, that's quite too much for this image let's try a 10 works better and saturation as well uh, to, to have more vibrant colors great so we do not have too many highlights here I mean these houses are white uh, there are some highlights in the in the sky we can reduce them a bit uh, but just a touch uh, you can see that the sky now uh, it became uh, more on the bluish side and for the shadows uh, we only have shadows here here but I kind of like them as they are since it's a landscape shot uh, we can also work a bit on the clarity I don't want to go too crazy about this uh, because you can see that you can easily ruin an image if you go um, too much on the right side you see that the image uh, is rapidly uh, be becomes like a cartoon so I tend to stop at 10 and 10 uh, for the clarity and the structure and I like it to have it natural you can see the effects for instance in uh, here I don't like to pixel peep but let's zoom uh, at 200 this is the before and this is the after you can see that it has just a bit of micro contrast to the image um, there was no um, fog or dust or whatever so we don't really need the DA tool also the levels looks quite nice to me but I always like to press the uh, magical one here to have it on the spot for the curve well for these kind of landscape shots I tend to make a classical S shaped curve um, again you can see the before and the after again just a bit of contrast to the image more pleasing to the eye and I don't like to use vignetting here so the image looks quite okay to me but uh, we can do a bit more uh, especially with the color uh, because what I don't like here is that you can't really tell it was autumn but you can't really tell from from the trees because there are some greens some yellows uh, some more on, on the 
red side here you can see there are many many different colors and so in these kind of images uh, what I'd like to do is just to select uh, a, a simpler color spectrum instead of having like red yellow orange and green and just squeeze everything more towards that selection so for instance here if we, if we select uh, the yellow which is this one we may take the greens and shift them towards the yellow and take the reds shift them towards the oranges and the oranges towards the yellow okay now i exaggerated this a bit but you can see the effect that we are going to, we are going to to look for so this was the before and this is the after okay now everything is more on the yellowish side of it of course it's a bit too much so for instance the red can stay on the red side and also the other colors i exaggerated them a bit again you don't want to go too crazy on these sliders you can stop at like 10 and minus 10 but right now you can see this is the before and you see many different colors this is the after the colors are more condensed toward the uh, yellowish side great so the last thing that I want to do I don't really like uh, this mountain here which is on the purple side uh, because you can easily see it's just a color outside of the whole spectrum of this image so what I can do is grab this tool go here and maybe change this a bit on one side if you want it to be more blue which doesn't make any sense or more on the purple side which again doesn't make any sense so what we can do here is actually we can have uh, a new layer select this portion here like so maybe a bit smaller like so and then here we want to work uh, on the color balance uh, simply by shifting uh, a bit to the green and now you can see easily that uh, this is the before and this is the after again really a small change does a good job okay and if you don't like it towards the green you can actually shift it a bit more towards the yellow and again you can see that it seems not too much but it's certainly more pleasing to my eye this is the before and this is the after now it's not as distracting uh, as it was before okay so this kind of works um, I spotted another thing that I want to fix this boat here and also this other one but in general let's say the um, white boats uh, are uh, a bit too bright in my opinion so I could change the highlights uh, everywhere but I want to make uh, we can rename this uh, I make a new layer let's say boats and uh, I simply take this radiant here like so and just remove a bit of white and maybe also a bit of highlights here okay so this is the before and this is the after if you look at the boats now they are more readable uh, you can actually see some more details uh, of them okay awesome the image looks good to me as always let's take a look at the before on the left uh, and the after
again really really simple edits quite pleasing results thanks a lot for watching